Rundu men came out in numbers for what is referred to as the commitment walk. It's about encouraging men to adopt respectful, non-violent and reasonable behavior in relationships. Led by Kavango East Governor Bonifatius Wakudumo, the men walked from the Rundu Sports Stadium through the CBD and ended up at the governor's office for a program filled with advice on how to become better men in society. Johannes Mururani told the group he was a violent man until he attended a male engagement program on gender norms under the USAID Reach Namibia project. He is now adamant about creating a safe environment. Imagine a world where boys and girls can walk safely to school without fear of violence. A world where women can make decisions about their health and bodies without suspicion. A world, a world where men and women stand together as equals, united in the fight against gender-based violence and HIV. Project coordinator of the Rich Namibia project, Katamba Naniemba, says the link between gender-based violence and HIV is well documented. It shows us that survivors of violence have often limited control over their sexual health, face power imbalances that prevent them from negotiating safer sex, and fear stigma that deters them from accessing critical services. The Kavango East Governor told the group that it's their duty as men to educate themselves and others about GBV, its root causes, and its impact on individuals. It is believed that five in six men are not abusers. But where are they? Can they stand up and to be counted? Can the one in six who are abusers change their ways? Can we raise a new generation based on equality? Change is not easy. And it does not happen overnight. But every step we take today is a step towards building a safer and more equitable future. Let us be unwavering in our commitment and courageous in our actions. Men also had the opportunity to access sexual reproductive health services and to sign pledges towards the fight against GBV. The event was organized by IntraHealth Namibia through the USAID-funded REACH Namibia project.